Hello church. I pray that everyone is okay and uh, praying that we are all walking in the light of God. I don't know what the plan of God is, but I am looking forward for this pandemic to be over. I miss you all and I miss talking to you in person. Even if we hold our worship service online and don't meet in our church building, well, it doesn't mean that there is no church. Remember, the church is us. The church is God's people. Each and every one of us is part of the body of Christ. So we have to live like Christ every single moment of our lives. Being part of the body, we need to continue our obligations to the church. And what are those obligations? Number one, to continue praying for each other, especially to those who are hurting physically, financially, and most importantly, spiritually. Number two, to make disciples of Christ. Like what Aki had mentioned last Sunday, our goal is to know Christ and to make Christ known. Let's continue sharing the Word of God and His goodness. We need to be very careful with our actions. Number three, let's continue our financial support to our church. As you know, this pandemic cannot make us stop the ministries and missions that God has entrusted us. Let us not stop giving our tithes and offering. In the book of Malachi says that if we bring our tithes into the storehouse, God will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will not be room enough to store it. This is a promise, and we know that God is a promise keeper. Thank you po mga kapatid, and I pray for you. God bless and love you all.